All right, I had this another video planned out where I was gonna go to Walmart and buy some toys and stuff to fish with and see if I could get, the, get a fish on those, some kind of challenge video. But they didn't have anything that, that I felt could work. So uh, I'm coming to Academy here and I'm gonna give me a different kind of toy. take me a while to get used to the balance here it's not good this there this is not a very stable I went for the higher capacity and the longer one because I thought it would be more stable but whew, this thing feels like I'm gonna tip over with every every stroke but it does seem to cut through pretty good Definitely getting some speed out of it. Don't really like this uh, rod holder very much. Can't get my rod out. Gotta take the whole rod holder out get my rod off. I'm not even going to put it back in place. And I don't even have bait on. <sighs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, this is not going to work for me. This is there's no stability in this thing. Like every time I look somewhere, I feel like I'm gonna flip over. I'm gonna drop anchor too. Maybe it'll stabilize me a little bit more. Oh, there goes my rod holder. To be honest, I'm not that upset. That was a not the best rod holder. That rod holder was kind of useless anyway, so. It moves through the water pretty well. It's a lot faster than the other one. It's definitely faster than that stupid inflatable one. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna stick the 
or in that bungee cord up in the front like that so it doesn't slide around and fall out. Okay, well, uh, I think I need a little more time to get used to it. My legs are sore. I'm not even using my legs in a kayak. My legs are sore because of the way I was sitting. I need to make sure I get these foot braces at the right length, the right spot. Uh, biggest issue I had with it was the stability. It felt like it was going to turn over. Every time I looked to my left, it felt like it was going to tilt over to its left. So that might be something I need to get used to or... I can put some kind of, uh, put those buoy things out on the side that will stabilize it some. Uh, the other biggest issue was the uh, rod holder, the front rod holder. You can't reach it, and the way it's designed, you, you have to be able to reach it easily to get your rod out of it. There's no, like, I couldn't reach it. I had to pull the rod holder out of it to get it, get my rod out of it because I couldn't reach the release on it. And doing that, I ended up losing the rod holder. It's at the bottom of the lake over here somewhere. So that's something I was probably gonna have to upgrade anyway, so I'm not too upset about that, but it just the placement of it was horrible. It was just a really bad spot. I am gonna do some bank fishing for a while. I didn't catch any fish out of it, but I think it's gonna be a while before I can do that. Uh, yeah thanks for watching uh if you're looking at this kayak uh you've never been on a kayak before i would recommend getting something else but if you're experienced with kayaks then i'm sure it's fine